Hey yarn lovers, it's Gary and I'm coming to you from my happy place, the Yarn Corner here on Vancouver Island in Canada. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is Sunday, March the 20th, 2022, and this is video number 143. How are you all doing? I hope you're well. It's been two weeks since I last updated you and I thought it was time to jump in and just let you know what's been going on in the last two weeks. Also, as the title suggests below, I made an order from Hirschner's and it's been with me for maybe a week, week and a half. It came in two batches because some of it was on back order and that came through as well just last week. So I was waiting for the whole order to be here and then I'd love to show what I got. Now some of these brands from Hirschner's have been on their site for a while but we all know when we shop for yarn some things go in and out of our cart. We haven't quite made up our mind whether we're going to buy them or whether there's going to be a sale later down the way. So we pull them out of the cart. So these are some items that I've been wanting to try out for a while. There's one actually that is brand new and I want to talk about that as well and my, give you my thoughts. And what else can I tell you? Oh, it's spring. So it just happened to be either spring the 20th or 21st of March, I'm not too sure which day it swings, but um, yeah, happy spring everyone. So I hope you enjoyed the little opening shot. Me and my hubby Chad were walking through Artnap, which is a plant nursery, looking at all of the wonderful flowers that are on sale right now for planting and bulbs that you can put in the ground for later in the spring and summer. So really, really nice time, very super colorful, but, we're here to talk about the yarn. If you're new, I want to say welcome. And I've set this channel up to talk about all of my yarny adventures. That is in knit crochet. I do dabble a little bit in hand dyeing of yarn, but I haven't done that for a while. And I talk about my acquisitions. If that's of interest to you, please stick around. We'd love to have you. And for all of those yarny friends who have returned back, I want to say thank you for returning and I want to thank you as well for all the wonderful comments in the last video congratulating me on a new job that I've taken on so that is why you haven't seen me as regularly as you had been in the past. So the new job is a nine to five office job and uh, yeah so I have work when I get home because I work on my own business as well and I work during the day. So it's Sunday and it's really late in the afternoon. It's probably evening now, around five, six-ish. I'm losing my light and I do apologize for the uh, electric light that's used in this video. So let's jump into what was in the order. The packing slip to the first part of this order tells me that it was packed and shipped on February 27th, 2022. It did take about two weeks to get to me from Hirschner's, which is situated in the United States. All of the price points will be in US currency that I mentioned. And the first one being a sale item that I jumped at because I have tried this yarn before. It is the Universal Yarn Bamboo Bloom. Check it out. Probably a year and a half ago, I got a, a couple of hanks from Happy Mail that I received from one of my friends, Penny Bolton. Hi, Penny. And uh, it was in the purple color, but now I've seen it on sale again. I jumped at the chance of getting a few more different colors. This one is Spicy Mustard. So there's the label there, Universal Yarn Bamboo Bloom. And let me tell you a little bit about the yarn. It is 100 grams in the hank giving me 154 yards or 140 meters. It is a combination of 48% rayon from bamboo, 44% wool and 8% acrylic. It is a hand washed, lay flat to dry yarn made in Turkey and it's very, very soft. Yeah. It does rove. It's classified as a bulky five, but the thinnest part is probably a three, maybe a slightly heavier than three weight. And the higher twist part, which I don't really know whether this is the bamboo part, but it does give the suggestion that the shimmer is the bamboo part. And then here where it's all fuzzy, where it's thicker, that is more of a matte finish. 
and it's not twisted as much as the shiny the shiny parts so i think as a novelty yarn i think this will knit up or crochet up very interesting and give you an interesting texture when i crocheted up using the purple hanks that i received in my gift a couple years back uh it did make an interesting effect in a cowl that i had uh crocheted up so yeah i got another color so four dollars it was on sale the other color that i got was this one here look at those holy smokes so this one is called arctic blues and because i liked this neutral colored one i got three hanks and this one here is called silver tones so i got three of those i think i might do some more uh, knitting because the last time i used the purple ones I was crocheting with them. I might I might try some decor pieces as well. I don't know. It's open for whatever you know takes my fancy at the time that I pull them out. Next up is a couple of yarn that I got from Willow Yarns. Now Hirschner's and Willow Yarns are sister companies. They share the same shopping cart. When you are shopping on Hirschner's website, you'll see at the top of their website that they have two tabs, one devoted to Hirschner's products and one devoted to Willow Yarns. So if you click on Willow Yarns, you'll see a whole array of different yarn choices. And I got Willow Yarns Tranquil from the Willow Yarn site. So I thought that I would like to try just the one color, see whether I like it, and then I might go back and purchase some more. They had wonderful color choices, and this one is kind of like more of the beigey browns, kind of neutral, not too striking in color, but it does variegate. I don't know whether it's gonna be a self-striping yarn or whether it will fall in and out in a more subtle way, uh, like ombre, or whether it will gradate from one tone to the next but I'll find out. So let me tell you a little bit about this yarn. It uh, is a four weight yarn. They are saying here that you can machine wash and tumble dry this yarn, so easy care instructions. It's made in China. They are saying in each of these little cakes, you get 100 grams, giving me 229 yards or 210 meters. And it's really, really soft. Let's see what the makeup is. 87 cotton and 13% nylon. Good for summer projects, breathable, may not hold its structure very well because of the fact that it is cotton, but yet to find out all of those wonderful qualities here with the coloring, how well it holds up. Very soft, I do like it and it could pair well with other colors because it's quite a slow churning color what i see here it's not uh changing too drastically from one intense color to the next there's sort of like a subtlety to it and i like that so the price point on this one sorry as i look down here at my notes is three dollars and 99 cents per cake the next yarn that i want to showcase is one that has jumped in and out of my cart for the last year and a half. Now, I'm not sure whether Willow Yarns Denim Grace has been around longer than that. It probably has been quite a staple yarn for Willow Yarns, but here it is here. It is Denim Grace in the colorway mustard. Look at that cake. Holy smokes. It has a heathered quality to it. Very, very soft. They rated a full weight or worsted. I'm going to say, yeah, pretty good. Maybe on the lighter side, I guess, but a nice weight. I like it. And there's no halo or a very, very little halo on it. The twist is medium. So when I uh, untwist it, it does come apart quite, I'm going to say, medium twist. So I'm not sure how it's going to knit up or crochet up, whether it's going to split. 
consideration to needle or hook size, whether it's a pointier style or more of a duller needle or point, um, may need to be considered with this, but I absolutely like it. It's so soft and squishy. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the yarn. It is 40 acrylic, 30 nylon, 30 wool. You can machine wash and tumble dry, so really nice, easy care instructions there. It is made in China, and the cake is 150 grams, giving me 136, sorry, 360 yards or 330 meters. It comes in wonderful colors. I really like the color palette in this collection. But when I was considering buying just the one cake, I thought I might get better value if I buy it in a kit. So they do have it in a kit for $26.99 and you get four cakes. But they predetermine the cakes as being this mustard color, which I didn't mind. It's a lovely color. I'll use it. And this gray color here. So the gray color is gray denim. So I got four of those for $26.99. Really good value. And I'm not sure what I'm going to make with it. I think uh, a nice drapey um, shawl or a scarf, or even I have enough here to do a color work vest. Now I'm kind of getting into vests nowadays, so <laughs> it may be a vest. Yeah. Really happy I got this. The last item in the order was on back order. So Hirschner sent it to me a little later and I received it last week. And I'm really impressed with this yarn. It's so wonderfully soft. It's called Mementi from Premier. And I got the colorway Desert Vista. It is a wonderfully soft yarn. It's not as soft as the Willow Yarn Denim Grace, but it is a nice soft yarn that I would be able to make something and wear it against my skin directly. And I like the way that the colors are slowly gradating into each other. I'm not sure whether or not that there will be a hard line that goes through each of the brackets of the different changes here in color, or whether it will be a slow process in changing up the colored yarn. It is a chain spun yarn. They are classifying it as a four, which I would agree with. That's kind of like a nice four. Let me tell you a little bit about the yarn. It is 58% cotton, 42% acrylic. They've graded it as a four weight, which is a worsted weight yarn. It is hand washed in cold water, lay flat to dry. It is a product that is made in Turkey. Again, the colorway is called Desert Vista. And how much do you get in here? Okay, 400 meters or 437 yards. And the, the ball is 200 grams. Really nice. Okay, so occasionally I've seen this on sale at Hirschner's, but I missed out on the sale. I had already purchased it, and the, uh, the um, regular price is $9.99 US. And the sale price that I saw that Hirschner's had it on, only for a day or two, was $7.99. But I tried it in, I'm, I'm trying it out. I've just got one color, and I purchased three cakes. And I'm thinking I'd like to make definitely a summer shawl in it and see how it works out. I think I might crochet this one and put some eyelets, make it a little lacy and see how it works up using the three cakes. On wrapping up and talking about the final thoughts on the yarn purchase that I made with Hirschner's and Willow Yarns is that I love all of the yarns. I'm so happy that I selected some of them that have kept coming in and out of my cart and I've bit the bullet and I thought, okay, let's just do it. And I'm really, really excited about using them. I do have my favorites, but I wanna know what your favorites are. Have you used any of these? 
What patterns did you pair these yarns with when you use them? I'd love to hear your experiences as well. So if you want to put your comments down below in the comment section, please go ahead. I love reading how you've worked up these yarns before, if you've, if you've ever worked with them. And my favourite, okay, I have to say, is Willow Yarns Denim Grease. Not affiliated with Hirschner's or with Willow Yarns. I purchased all this yarn myself, so you're just getting my honest opinion here. In this lovely mustard colour, absolutely squishy. I love the heatheredness of it. And I just can't wait to try this out in a knitted colour work with the grey that I got in the kit. And I'm on this kick right now to do sweater vests. So it, you might see this in a sweater vest. I'll talk to you about how the stitch definition looks, whether it frogs uh, well or if it catches up on itself, how it, how it uh, knits up, whether it splits. So yeah, I'll get back to you more on this. I'm not sure when I'm going to be w w making that sweater vest, but yeah, <laughs> sometime soon, hopefully. Yeah. With that, that catches you up on everything. I think I do have a few more videos to make tonight. There are a couple of other boxes that I've got to um, share with you. Another order from Hirschner's, which was even before this one. But this one was a smaller one that I wanted to make sure that I got out and, and shared with my Yarny friends. So with that, I wish you all the well and I will see you soon. Bye for now.